All right, guys, it's uh, Zeromorph here, the uh, lead developer of the Final Night series. Uh, I am coming to you from a, actually, it's a dark and stormy night, uh, summer night in North Carolina, and uh, I'm here to show you guys how to install the Final Nights. Um, <laughs> about about a year and a half ago, I made a uh, how to install the final nights that ended up being 35 minutes long. I apologize for that. Uh, I had, gosh, like 19 thumbs down or something like that. I forget how many people didn't like it, but uh, I rambled on and on and on. And I very much apologize for that. And I don't want to do that again. And uh, actually, in fact, I have some pretty good news for you guys. I figured out how to make the installer um, automatically put a shortcut uh, to the final nights onto your desktop with the appropriate switches at the end, uh, which is going to make your life so much easier. So this video is going to be really short. So, okay, so let's get started. Uh, this is my background here, a picture of, I think that's a Bloodlines 2 picture. And uh, anyways, so let's pretend that you just downloaded uh, VTM, the Final Nights 1.6 HD, the full version, which is the only version you can get. Um, over here is an icon. Disregard this. This is my personal game. Um, I set up another one for you guys as an example. Uh, let me go into Windows Explorer here. And uh, you may have to view this at full screen if the font is too small here. But uh, so let's pretend that I just installed the retail CDs. Um, I don't use a GOG version, nor do I have a Steam copy. Um, I still use the original discs that I bought back in 2004 uh, when, when Bloodlines was originally released. Um, and when it installs from the retail CDs, it goes here to C drive, uh, program files, x86, which if you have a 32 bit operating system, you won't have this x86. Um, mine's a 64, 64 bit version of windows seven. So that's why I have that. But, uh, click here on Activision, which is the default directory and then vampire dash bloodlines. If I double click on that, this is the vanilla game without any kind of uh, modifications. The unofficial patch is not a part of this. Uh, this is again, just the retail CD. Um, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna just move this window over here. Let's just say I just downloaded this from the website. I wanna double click on it. It's gonna bring this up right here um, with the man being chased by the vampire thing. Uh, <laughs> Uh, VTM, the final nice version 1.6 HD. We want to click on next. This, if you want to read it, is a change log of everything that we've ever changed um, in the past 10 years to the final nights, um, going in chronological order, going backwards. So this is 1.6, and then down here you're going to have 1.5, and it goes all the way down to uh, the release date back like 10 years ago. Click on next. I understand how to install 1.6. Um, this in here, if you scroll down just a little bit, this is the switch that you need to have on your icon, which we'll get into here in just a second. But just in case the shortcut doesn't work for whatever reason, uh, you're gonna wanna have this information so that you can type this in manually, which again, we'll go over in just a second. Uh, so I click on next. And by default, uh, it wants to go to Program Files, Activision, Blood, uh, Vampire Bloodlines. That is the wrong directory. Again, I have a 64-bit version of, um, of my operating system. So this is actually Program Files x86. So what I want to do is I want to click on this guy. And I want to go to Computer. And I need to find the directory that Vampire.exe uh, is installed to. So I'll go to local disk, I'll go to program files x86, here's Activision, and then Vampire Bloodlines. And I don't want to click on this vampire because that's too deep. The actual file, the vampire.exe, resides in this directory, vampire-bloodlines. So I want to go, let's see here, back to this, I want to click OK. Now it changes to program files x86 and that's the proper directory. So I want to click on next and I want to click start 
And as you're going to see over here, all sorts of different cool stuff is going to be populated while this is installing to the left. Um, so far, it's made the TFN directory. Um, and that's where all the game files for the Final Nights is stored in. Um, it doesn't touch any of these other directories. So let's say you have the unofficial patches, for instance. Uh, you would have another directory in here called unofficial patches, which is so you'd have bin docs unofficial or TFN unofficial patches in Vampire. If you had like Clan Quest mod, that would be another directory that you would have over here. Um, and by putting uh, the switch in the shortcut, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what a switch is here in a second, um, that tells it to play the final nights as opposed to unofficial patch uh, or clan quest mod or whatever. So this, this new program is called the mod loader, which is incredible because then you don't have to have a bunch of different versions of bloodlines on your computer. You can have one copy of vanilla bloodlines and then all the different mods that you want to play um, installed. It saves, it saves a lot of disk space. Um, for the user. So as you can see, we're almost done here, 94%. Uh, we just gotta copy these songs over. This is the, uh, these are the songs for the HUD, or for the HUD, for the uh, different um, clubs. That's the word I'm looking for, clubs. <laughs> okay, all right, so we just got all of this good stuff in here. We click on next and exit. And if you look in here, these are all the change logs. Um, they're just simple text files. Here's the latest one. If you want to check it out, you can just double click on it and read the new content and bug fixes. Um, if you want to uh, read the game manual, you can just double click on this. And this is the new game manual here. Of course, you're going to need Adobe Reader to do that. This is a total change log, the TFN README. This is every single uh, patch uh, rolled into one. These are two icons. Uh, the second icon is the official uh, Final Nights icon there. This is vampire.exe. So I'm gonna close out of this. As you can see, we now have a new shortcut on our desktop. It's labeled VTN, the Final Nights 1.6. We wanna right click on it, go down to properties. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you guys. So after the parentheses, and this is the location of the game right here. This is what we just installed. And see there's little quotes? Well, after the quotes, there's a space dash game space TFN. And what that does is it tells the mod loader that we want to play the version that's currently in the TFN directory as opposed to unofficial patches, clan quest mod, um, companion mod, any any other kind of mod that you have. Um, if you want to look, you can go to open file location and that's going to bring you right back to where we were right here. So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully this video uh, helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Uh, I hope you had a good time. I sure did. Zero more out.